Hey, what's up, guys? My name's John. Welcome to Daily Theology. President Biden visited a class of fifth graders, and I wanted to play a little bit of this video. And he was, they were asking, what did you think of virtual learning? And some said they liked it, but most said they didn't like it, and they were able to eat and nap. And the study in this article says they were, there are risks to the students in, in terms of mental health and other things. But what I wanted to point out in this video was just how sad and depressing this video actually is. It looks like the kids are in some sort of science experiment, all in masks, and it just, it's, a, it's a sad state of affairs. So I want to play this just for a second. at all the little cages they're in. So, you know, you can see the sad state of affairs here with the kids in these plastic boxes. I think this kid has two masks on and it's this is just crazy it's insane and so uh that's what i wanted to point out was is th is this your version of of like in-person learning is this freedom is this uh teaching children in a way that is helpful I, I can't imagine when these students are older what they're going to tell their children about uh this time in history and uh i think as parents one of the key uh, priorities in our lives is to train up our children in the way that they should go. And this isn't a commentary on this school, but I would say it's very important to consider uh, if you should homeschool your children and teach them. Uh, because in these schools, these are basically government indoctrination centers where students come out thinking very much like secular humanists, very much like state-minded thinkers. And we want them, and that's not true of every teacher, there are a lot of good teachers, but that is essentially what this is a, an assembly line to do. Um, we wanna train up our children in the way that they should go. And when they're old, they will not depart from it. We want to teach them about the Bible and we want to help them build godly character. The most important thing is we want them to understand the work of Jesus Christ, to trust in his death, burial, and resurrection, to repent, to turn from sin, and put all of their hope in his finished work on the cross. If you haven't yet today, please make today the day. Thanks for watching. Remember to hammer that like button, like the 95 Theses, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and God bless.